Inside Rolex's Secret World, exposing authorized dealers and hidden truths. Today, we will be unraveling the hidden secrets of a Rolex authorized dealer. Just like everyone else, they too have their own secrets that are about to be exposed one by one. As we venture into these revelations, the consequences remain unknown. However, I'm sure you're itching to know the truth before we kick things off. But before we proceed, I have a trivia question for you. Is it true or false that Rolex makes all its gold in-house? Comment your answer below and make sure to watch until the end of this video to find out the correct answer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating watch-related videos. First things first, remember, as an ordinary person, you're not exactly a top priority for Rolex. Their authorized dealers, on the other hand, hold a special place in their hearts and sales targets. Talk about pressure, right? Becoming an authorized dealer is no walk in the park. These dealers must meet specific sales target and embody the essence of Rolex. It sounds complicated, but it's absolutely true. Rolex expects a lot from their dealers, pushing them to raise their bar every single time. Since meeting sales target is crucial, authorized dealers have to sell various models. They'll do whatever it takes to reach their goals. But here's the catch. If you stroll into a Rolex authorized dealer and ask for a Daytona, they won't jump at the chance to sell it to you. Why? Because you're just a random person in their eyes. They're skeptical about whether you're actually capable of purchasing a luxury timepiece. Remember, the main focus is hitting their sales target, not making new friends. Although, they may pretend to be your buddy to achieve their goals, their mission is clear. Here's where it gets interesting. Rolex authorized dealerships can vary greatly depending on the location. In wildly affluent areas, they might give you a dismissive laugh if you step foot into their store. They can quickly assess that you don't have the cash to spare and that you're merely a tourist. Since you won't help them meet their sales target, they won't even bother trying to sell you a Rolex. However, if you stumble into a more modest neighborhood, your chances improve significantly. By being there, you become a potential customer who can assist them in reaching their targets. They rely on a broader range of people to achieve their goals. Suddenly, you have a much higher possibility of actually buying that coveted timepiece. Plus, to meet their sales targets, authorized dealers often sell to gray market dealers. Gray market dealers. Ah, the mysterious gray market dealers. Brace yourself for this dark secret. These dealers can swoop in and purchase multiple models from authorized dealers. They'll snag the popular watches and also less sought after timepieces that gives the authorized dealers a hard time selling. By doing so, the gray market dealers lend a helping hand, enabling the authorized dealers to meet their sales targets. Now, if you happen to be exceptionally wealthy, you can waltz into a store, buy those rare Rolex models adorned with jewels or diamonds, and guess what? You'll actually be helping the authorized dealer meet their sales targets. Of course, they might put you on waiting list, but hey, it's all part of the game. Here's another secret that'll make you raise an eyebrow. Rolex authorized dealerships have different ranks of sales staff, including junior and senior members, along with the manager. The senior sales staff wield significant power. They're the ones who secretly deal with gray market dealers, while others remain oblivious to this fact. Talk about a big secret they won't be sharing with you, especially since they have no clue who you are when you walk through their door. They can't determine if you're a flipper. The truth is, they don't really know you. However, if you're a recognized flipper, they've established a rapport with you. They'll do business together. As a flipper, you'll purchase the slow-selling inventory for a fixed period, becoming a regular customer and assisting them in reaching their long-term sales targets. But hold on. Once you step into their store, they'll be scrutinizing whether you're a headache-inducing flipper or just a small-time one. Recognized flippers are no-go since Rolex-authorized dealers must adhere to specific guidelines. Well, most of the time, they follow those rules diligently, but they keep it under wraps. Only those already in the know can navigate this terrain. Are you enjoying the revelation so far? Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to click the notification bell to become a favorite among gray market dealers, so you must earn their trust. Let's picture a regular customer seeking to buy a Rolex GMT Master or another popular model. Typically, you'll interact with a junior sales staff who promptly put you on a waiting list. They might ask you for your name and contact information, which they'll jot down on a piece of paper. Each authorized dealer operates differently. Knowing you're just a random person eyeing a famous model, to avoid wasting their time, they'll make you feel special 
even deep down, they believe you won't contribute to their sales target. So chances are, they won't sell it to you. Now here's the mind-boggling news. Riots and break-ins have occurred at Rolex authorized dealerships. Can you believe it? It's both crazy and alarming. To combat this, they now secure their watches in a safe. Sure, a few models may be on display during the day, but once closing time arrives, those precious timepieces are locked away securely. No smashing windows to get their hands on those watches though. Sorry to burst your bubble, but you'll find empty boxes instead. Rolex watches are already safeguarded in the safe. To address the ongoing Rolex watch shortage at authorized dealers, they've come up with a clever approach. They may display models that you can try on but not actually buy. It's like a loop in the system. Considering people are well aware of the shortage, why does this shortage exist? Well, you'll probably guess it. Gray market dealers. They need to conduct significant business to meet their sales targets. So don't be surprised if you see empty shelves at a Rolex authorized dealer. You can admire the watches on display without being able to purchase them. However, it's still possible to find new and untouched Rolex models. How you ask? By exploring various gray market resellers online. There, you find a Daytona, a Submariner, or even GMT Master models that aren't available at a Rolex authorized dealer. This is where it all began, as authorized dealers actually sold to these gray market resellers. Keep in mind that Rolex authorized dealers must strictly adhere to a set of rules, or else face severe consequences. One rule is that they can't charge more than the manufacturer's suggested retail price or MSRP for a watch. Although some may have slipped up, selling watches to someone buying in bulk, especially less popular or smaller models, is technically against the law. Yet, certain individuals might be willing to sell those watches to you at a higher price, allowing them to make some extra money. So, to reach their sales targets, Rolex authorized dealers fuel the gray market. But let's be honest here, there is no actual Rolex watch shortage. The shortage only exists at authorized dealers, and it's essential for everyone to be aware of this. And there you have it folks, we've delved into the mysterious world of Rolex, uncovering some surprising secrets along the way. But now, it's time to reveal the answer to our trivia question. Is it true or false that Rolex makes all its gold in-house? The answer is… True. Rolex is one of the few watch manufacturers that produces its own gold in-house. They have their own foundry where they carefully craft their exclusive 18 karat gold alloys. From the initial raw materials to the finished timepieces, Rolex maintains meticulous control over every aspect of their production process. But hey, don't let the surprise end here. We want to hear from you. In the comments below, share your thoughts on the world of luxury watches. Are you a fan of Rolex? Or do you prefer other watch brands? We can't wait to read your answers. And remember, if you enjoyed this video and want to explore more fascinating topics, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future content. Thank you for joining us on this adventure into the secrets of Rolex. Stay curious, stay stylish, and we'll see you next time.